Ladies and gentlemen, today you are in for a treat because we bought over $15,000 worth of iPhones in today's video. Don't worry, I didn't spend $15,000. That's kind of the whole point of the video is we're trying to see if we can make some money buying used iPhones, but I'm not gonna reveal too much more to you guys. Enjoy the video. And that brings us here. Oh, okay. Not the best way to start the video off. I'm sure it went through worse on the way over here. It just has a big giant fragile sign on it. Oh God, did I just break all the phones we bought before we even opened it? Okay, let's just pop into these. As you guys know, we've got a bunch of potentially broken. I don't really know what we have, but we have a bunch of iPhones in here and we're gonna try and fix these bad boys up. But first we gotta see what condition they are in. I'm gonna try fixing one, see if I can do that. And then I'll probably won't be able to, but you know, at least we'll be able to try together. And you know, you guys can find out whether or not you need to keep bringing your phone somewhere else to get fixed or it's something simple you can do on your own. And then we'll probably end up bringing the rest somewhere else. And then we're gonna see if we can fix them, how much it's gonna cost and if we can make some moolah. Here are all of our phones, wow. Okay, so we have five iPhone SEs here. None of the screens are broken, which I was expecting at least a few of them to be broken. There's like a weird discoloration around the Apple logo on the back of this one. I don't know what would cause that. They don't look like they're in terrible condition, but they're so small. This is an iPhone 11. Look at the difference. Oh my God, it's like one and a half times the size. The back on this one has some blue or something. That came off. These phones actually look like they're in pretty decent condition. I don't know about the inside of the phones, but the exterior looks not bad on our first five iPhones. Maybe we won't even have to do anywhere. Let's check out the next five. Oh, okay. We've got one, two, three more iPhone SEs. We have one that is white and the rest are all black and gray. None of the screens are broken. They're just a little dirty. So, you know, maybe some cleaning will go a long way. And we're also gonna throw in an iPhone 10 into the mix. This is actually my old phone, which I just didn't really know what to do with. Cracked screen on the back, cracked screen on the front. And there are a few other issues. I don't remember all of them now because it's been a while since I used it, but we're gonna add this to the group and see if we can fix it up and how much we can sell it for. And in total, whether we'll be able to make some money off of all this. But it's now time to see how many of these actually turn on. This one turns on. Okay, this one doesn't seem to wanna turn on. Okay, five up, five down. Okay, this one at least prompted me to charge it. That's a good sign. The other ones didn't even prompt that. All right, it looks like these phones are deader than dead right now. We're gonna go ahead and try and charge all of them and see what happens. Okay, so we charged up all the phones. I didn't actually check to see if it worked. I don't know for sure that we charged up all the phones. We at least attempted to charge all of the phones. Now it's time to see how many of them turn on because that's kind of problem number one. If the phone doesn't turn on, I don't even know how to fix that. So, all right, let's take a look. First phone turns on. Second phone turns on. Third, bang, bang. Okay, so far five for five. This is looking good. The screens aren't broken. The phones are turning on. We might just be able to not do anything to these. They might work right away. Six, seven, eight. Okay, we're down to the final two, please. Bang, okay, let's go. So all 10 turn on. Now can we get into all 10 of them? So this one right off the jump, it's asking me software update. Okay, can I not do software update? Set up touch ID later. I'm trying to sell these. I don't want my stuff on it, continue. Welcome to iPhone. All right, this looks like it's been completely wiped. This is looking good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, one down. Second one, boom, turns on right away. Seems like it's been wiped as well. Okay, now one thing you wanna check when you get these is the battery health. This is 97% of maximum capacity, so that's pretty good. I know a bunch of you guys are gonna go off in the comments. There's probably a hundred other things I'm supposed to check, okay? This is my first time doing this. I don't know, so please let me know what I should be checking because I might do this again if you guys get our like goal. If you haven't already, be sure to smash the like button. And I need to know more of the things I should be looking out for. This this one is 98%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can get into this phone. Boom, we got into another one. So far, these are looking pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. 93%, 88%. Okay, that's our worst one so far, but 88 is still not that bad for a used iPhone. 91, okay. 
Guys, we might be able to just chop these. I have all these tools here. I thought I was gonna have to fix stuff. I thought it said that the screens were cracked and things like that. These seem to be in better condition than I was expecting. 93%, 84%, that's the worst so far. I feel like if the worst battery health is 84%, we're doing all right. 97, whoo! Whoever thought battery health would get me excited. <laughs> it's a new, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No SIM, but we have uh, missed phone calls. We have voicemails. I don't know if I wanna listen to these. Your social insurance number is getting used illegally. For money laundering. Oh, this is definitely someone was trying to hack these guys. I'm not buying that one. And hopefully whoever had this phone before me didn't either. What was the battery health on this? This is the only one that had anything show up. It wasn't complete. I guess it was still kind of, I don't know how that got there. Anyways, seems pretty much completely wiped. This one is as well. Last one, battery health is 91%. That's pretty good. So nothing under 84% for the battery health. Most of them were over 90%. They're wiped completely clean. They look like they're unlocked. They're ready to go. Now, Besides my phone, these are all in really good condition. So I'm pretty sure we can take all of these to the store and see if we're able to uh, sell them. But before we do, you gotta educate yourself, all right? So we gotta figure out what the going rate is for these iPhone SEs in pretty much, not perfect condition, but as good as you can expect from a phone that's this old. What's the value of these phones? That's right, I did not do research on this before I bought them. I don't generally plan, it's not one of my strong suits. Okay, so iPhone SE, I'm gonna go on Kijiji. For you guys who don't know, Kijiji is kind of like Craigslist, but here in Canada or in, I don't know, maybe they even have it in the States. I don't really know. Point is, I'm going to go on there. I'm going to put in iPhone SE and we're going to see how much these bad boys are going for. Okay. I forgot to check earlier, but not only is the battery health good on all the phones, we have four 16 gigabyte iPhone SEs and we have six 32 gigabyte iPhone SEs. So let's take a look online and see what we're working with. Show me the money, baby, please. Okay, we've got quite the range here. I see one is 120 bucks, one is 65 or best offer, 160, 260, 95, 75, 100, 110. Okay, it looks like they're ranging quite a bit, but I would say on average around 100, 110 uh, for the 32 gig and then for the 16, it's a little bit cheaper, but that's what we are working with. It might be hard to make a profit given what we paid for these, so probably should have researched that beforehand, but you know, I didn't. So we're gonna take these to the store and we're gonna see one, make sure they all work and confirm with someone who actually does this for a living. And two, how much can we get for these bad boys? All right guys, so like I said, we gotta figure out if these are good because I don't know all that much about fixing phones. So we're gonna go to one of the kiosks here in the mall, show them the phones, see if they're any good if they need to be fixed more and ask them how much they think they're worth. So we can find out if we're gonna make a little bit of that money, you know? How you doing? Um, so we got 10 iPhone SEs here. We're just wondering what these would be worth. Uh, well, I think they all work. Um, so I don't think we need to do any repairs um, unless you see something wrong with them, but I think they're all fine. Um, so potentially sell them if you give me a good deal, you know? We could be friends after and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? How much do you want for this one? You gotta tell me, man. I don't, I don't have a price for you. I can pay you 65 each. 65 each? Yeah. Can you do a little more than that? I already gave you a very best price. Come on, we both know you don't start with your best price. Oh my gosh! I can make it 70 bucks. 70 bucks? Yes, the maximum more I can do for you. Even for all of these? I'm blessing you with 10. Brand new. 10, 700 for all of them. It's a lot 700. Of them. That uh, might may or may not be what I paid for all of them. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to these, but I'm in the mall, so maybe I'll swing by again and let you know if, if I have no luck. All right, thank you very much for your help. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so pretty good news, kind of what we expected. He told me he could give me 70 bucks per phone, which would be uh, in total $700. We paid $720 for them, so obviously I'm not taking that deal. We're here to make some money, but. He did say they're worth about 100 to 125 if he sold them individually and he has to make money off it. So we can't be selling it to someone who's also trying to make money. We gotta sell it to an end user. So we're gonna put these on Kijiji or wherever else we could try and find people who need an actual iPhone for themselves to use. And then if we can sell them for 100 or even 125, we can make between 300 to like $500 on these phones, which is not bad, not bad. So we're gonna set up the listings and I'll let you guys know how that goes. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been about three weeks since we got our package of iPhone SEs. We got 10 of them and we've sold five of them for a variety of prices ranging from about 75 to 100 and a bit, something like that. Uh, it's been a struggle. We've had at least two or three people show up to the office ready to buy, see that the phone is smaller than my palm and decide they didn't want it anymore. So the only way we've really had success is on eBay and because of shipping costs, we've pretty much made no money off of this. So needless to say, this wasn't my best decision, but I think we'll probably come close to breaking even on the iPhone SEs, but that's just not entertaining enough for you guys. So what I decided is I'm gonna spend a crazy amount of money on much newer iPhones. And I think it might, it's probably a worse idea. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. And it's so that the video would hopefully be a little bit better for you guys. So in this box, I actually don't remember what we have, but it's newer iPhones. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna see what we have, remind ourselves. And then hopefully we can actually make a profit on these ones. I actually wanna remember check what how much did we pay for these it's been like two weeks okay don't judge me yeah we spent oh my god i kind of got sucked in okay so i spent what i thought was twenty seven hundred dollars <laughs> what i can't believe i'm admitting this i spent what i thought was twenty seven hundred dollars on these 10 phones and i think they're all iphone 11s i'm pretty sure so i thought i would make that back right at least get close to breaking even but then there's like a, a buyer's premium 200 bucks shipping 60 bucks sales tax 237 so grand total was three thousand two hundred eleven dollars and 76 cents and the kicker it's usd which i'm canadian so that just really hurts you right but hopefully they work I really hope they work. Otherwise we have no chance of making our money back. They were used, not salvaged. They should work. Oh, they are used and abused. <laughs> this is gonna be, I, I should never do a video like this again. Oh dear. Oh dear Lord. Oh my God. Okay, it is an iPhone 11. It looks kind of nice from here, except for the fact that, how did these count as used? This is like salvage level. There's tape on the back where the lenses are. The whole front screen is completely shattered. Does it even turn on? Okay, we might have to charge it, but so far it's not looking so good. You're also potentially wondering what's going on with the rest of the set. This is actually a set for a different video. I'm just kind of doing this impromptu because it finally came in. All right, let's check out our second phone. Some more shattered glass. Oh, at least there's no tape on the back. The back plate looks pretty clean. Holy hell. Oh my God, the whole side here is popped off. I don't think this is salvageable. How did they t tell me these were just used? This is a salvage lot, fam. Please smash the like button on the video. This is really not looking promising. Okay, third phone. It looks like they're getting potentially less damaged. Maybe not. I don't know why there's tape on the back of these. This actually doesn't look that bad. So far, none of them turn on, but we do probably have to charge them. I'm just really hoping we have a couple that are actually in. Oh my God, what the fuck is this? How is this not a salvage lot? Bro, this is destroyed. Same thing with, the, this one is literally bent. I don't know, I, I might have to be filing a complaint with the site I bought these off of. What in God's name? Did they get destroyed on the way here? Like this doesn't even. Holy shit, this might be the biggest waste of money I've ever encountered on this channel. This is probably the best one so far and it's still completely destroyed on the front. Like this has to be a troll. This is exploding out the back. How is this not a salvage lot? They're literally all destroyed beyond beyond comprehension. Okay, um, I think it's really looking like I completely wasted my money. Uh, the iPhone SEs, I think I should have just, just cut my losses, broke even with these. Okay, we're gonna have to do some investigative research. We're, I'm gonna... Uh, attempt to charge some of these see if any of them even turn on holy hell this was uh this is uh, uh, uh. i think the lesson here is if you don't know shit about smartphones don't spend a crazy amount of money on them i i like i have no idea how to fix these i don't even know where to start with fixing these i'm gonna find some answers for you guys and i'll give you an update shortly all right guys welcome to the set of regret i just re jay was doing some weird b-roll in here and i repurposed it because i was too lazy to move everything and you know what it felt fitting all the dark 
lights and the vibe because well I'm I'm regretting filming this video at this point but it's too late and we are too far in and it's used as a cautionary tale to never use this site for probably anything so as you guys saw the phones we got in the box were pretty much all broken my theory was they were supposed to be salvage units but they accidentally labeled them as used units and hence that's why what we got was not what we ordered so we contacted the people who sent it and asked them yo what's going on and um, well basically they told us we can't help you with anything now apparently because we ordered it and we had it shipped somewhere else there's like a three-day policy that you have to dispute it and because we live in Canada we didn't get it until five days after it got delivered to the other spot and basically that invalidated our dispute which I I obviously should have read the fine print, I guess, before I ordered it. But still, we clearly got bamboozled and we obviously didn't get the product in time, but they didn't care. We even had footage of me looking at it. So we decided maybe we can fix the phones and still make some of our money back, right? No, not not really the case. We took it to the local store where you can get them fixed and they said it would cost between five and six thousand more dollars just to fix these phones and because they were in such bad condition they couldn't even guarantee whether some of them would work so basically we're screwed and liquidations.com but i do have one last ditch idea that might help us so i'd like to start off this voiceover by saying liquidations.com and now that we've got that out of the way let's try and salvage our iphones fortunately one of the staff here in the office is pretty handy so we've put them to work basically trying to take parts from some of these phones mix and match it together so that we can get a couple functioning phones try and sell those and make some of our money back as you can see here we've got a couple phones with an intact back screen and a couple phones with an intact front so we're going to try and combine them and turn them into one functioning phone now there are tutorials on how to do this so if you guys want to do this yourselves you can find those but as you can see here basically you need a whole bunch of different tools and you got to take the phones apart very very carefully and then put them back together equally carefully that's about all the explanation i can give you as to what's going on right here so just to add to how much we got bamboozled not only were these clearly salvage phones but they were salvage phones that had already been salvaged People had taken them apart for parts, making this even more difficult. But through sheer grit and perseverance, we managed to put two of the phones together. Let's see if they work. All right, so you saw us put them back together and here are the final products of our two attempted fixes on the broken iPhones that we got. As you can see, it looks good on the back. We've got the hello screen on the front, looks good. Now, before I show you guys, it's time for the big reveal because if both of these phones do work, we could probably sell them for around three grand total, which would mean we'd be very close to making all of our money back, which would be very great. I would love that. So first phone, we've got our iPhone 11 Pro. It says hello right here. Hola. It's looking promising. Set up manually. Come on. It's iCloud locked. <sighs> oh. No, I wanted this to have a happy ending, guys. I really did. I thought we might have a chance at a happy ending, but it's looking like this is instead going to be a cautionary tale. There's an iCloud activation lock, which means maybe, I don't, I have no idea what the history is behind this phone, but we can't get into it. And if we could find the person who owned it before, I would try and reach out to them, but unfortunately we can't. Essentially, that makes this phone worthless, despite the fact that it is completely functioning. It works, the, the front screen works, the back screen is all clean, everything works. It's just we can't get into the phone. So it is unfortunately useless and therefore worthless. But we do have one phone left, the iPhone 11 Pro Max. As you can see on the back, it looks great, but on the front, not so great. Even though the screen actually looked like it was one of the screens, the only screens that was fully intact, the bottom of it, as you can see, isn't. And we weren't able to put it completely into the phone, so there is a little bit of a separation here. While it does work, and it is unlocked, see, like, you can see, hello, English. Okay, maybe it doesn't work. But essentially, even after our two repairs and the valiant effort put forth from the team, we were not able to salvage any of the smartphones, which means this was a complete waste. And not only that, we also found out that these phones had already been opened because the screws on the bottom were removed from almost all of the phones, and there were even parts inside the phones that had been removed. So whoever sold us these, whether it be directtech or liquidations.com, the two people involved, I don't know. All I can do at this point is basically give a big review saying screw both of you because neither of you helped us out despite the fact that we got a bunch of useless phones and this is just a cautionary tale for you guys you know uh, fortunately I learned the hard way so that you guys don't have to
to, right? Uh, you know, because I'm a nice guy. So please smash the like button on this video to make me feel a little bit better about the fact that I just got ripped off for $3,000. <laughs> also, maybe don't do things you don't know. You know, I don't know enough about fixing phones to really do this kind of thing. I thought it would be easy. Obviously, it wasn't. But with that being said, I am not one to quit, you know, on the first try. So if you guys want to see a part two where we actually go out, try this again, maybe on a smaller scale with cheaper phones or maybe even on a bigger scale because you know when when you lose just double down and lose again i don't know I, the point is if you guys want to see it again let me know smash the like button if we get over forty thousand likes on this video we'll try it again and we'll try and be smarter about it this time maybe we'll use different sites because the first 10 phones we got off ebay were all completely fine so maybe it's just liquidations.com or direct tech the two people that were involved on the site that we bought these ship phones off of maybe one of them flop and ebay is actually the best spot to go i'm not entirely sure but at the end of the day we got bamboozled folks i didn't want it to end on a completely sour note because you know that's no fun so that's why i'm filming where we are right now and you guys are probably wondering sean what are you in a, a a house where are you well i am actually still in the office and this is going to be a rock climbing wall as you guys can see, we're in the process of turning this office and studio into like the coolest YouTube office studio in the game. We are gonna be adding a few other things to the office and I'll be giving you a tour when it's completely finished. And of course, this is actually gonna look more like a rock climbing wall when we're done. But with that being said, please subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles.